Hey guys, True Grit Scott. I'm working on a couple 46 builds, and one of them's going to be a highway Titan nickel big bore. The other one's going to be a farmer tech cylinder that I'm going to do some porting on. What I want to show you guys, and I've talked about this before, is one of the problems I have with the pre built saws, and I'm going to show you the cylinder. And what I'm getting at is that. When I look at the cylinders I get from Farmer Tech, they need work. And if I ran that without doing anything, I'm going to have problems. I can't say exactly how many problems I'm going to have, but I'm going to have a squirt piston. A lot of them are like that. I have 346 Farmer Tech cylinders here, and all three of them have things that I think it score the piston. I picked the best one that I'm going to port and clean up and make fine. So really it's 100% no problem for me. I don't mind it. But for a guy who bought a pre-built, I'm going to show you what your cylinder looks like. I'm going to pause you. I'm going to put you on the tripod just so I can show you this real quick. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, I picked this cylinder in particular because I like the inner, the upper inner, or the upper transfers better. They look the shape was a little bit better, they were a little bit bigger, and they were a little nicer. Now, I think I need more light on this subject here, and I'm not sure how I'm going to get it. Give me a second here, guys. Let me see what I can do. Monkeying around with lights. Well, maybe that shows you a little bit. All right, so what I want to show you, I'm going to try to find, maybe I broke it off already. All right, let me show you some good examples of what I'm talking about here. Sorry guys, I know this isn't the best video. I'm doing this real quick as I'm trying to get some builds done, so bear with me. Anyhow, if, if you look at this, I have flakes of Nicosil here that, ah, you see, that just broke right off onto my thing. And the first time that cylinder's run, that's going through the cylinder, and it's going to score it to whatever degree it scores it to. Maybe it'll blow right out. Maybe it's not going to be a major problem. But all of this Nicosil here is stuff that flakes off so easy. And I, listen, I'm trying to do this on video, and I know I'm not doing the best job for you. But this stuff is going to come right off. I have more over here. And if you look at the inside of that lower transfer, you, you could just see all the... To be honest with you, I have to scrape at that because, well, it's getting ported anyway. But that's some of the sand that I'm talking about that sticks in these transfers sometimes. Sometimes I see it packed up way back in here. And it's packed up and it'll be built up in the corners. Kind of like that one, but there's not sand behind it. And it's going to blow out the first time somebody runs a saw. So on every pre-built saw, this is an ongoing issue that I see in X amount of them. If you look here, I think that in... We'll see when I get to cleaning this up how it's going to go. But that's all Nicosil over the top of sand. Over here. More Nicosil over sand. Or maybe those are just boogers. That's hard for me to tell until I scrape into it. But then back there, maybe you could see. There's big things. And listen, I'm not saying that's all going to flake off. But I wouldn't want it running through my cylinder. So this is just one of the things I've talked about. I figured I'd show you real quick. I actually started doing the base on this because the squish was... I, I couldn't even tell you how high the squish was on it, but it's a good-looking cylinder. The, to be honest with you, I like the, the squish band better than I do in the 44s. It's also a D cylinder. I like that. There's a bunch of things I like, and to be honest with you, with a farmer tech, I believe that this is going to be one of the ones with the coating, the, the harder Nicosil on it, that I like actually better. And this feels lighter, and sometimes these have better aluminum. I'm not sure on these particular ones, but these look familiar to me that they may be a decent cylinder when I get done doing what I do to them. Anyhow, True Ritz Scott, I just wanted to show you, and I, I probably should have took the Titan Nickel off, but I'm still, I'm not there yet, and I should have taken that off just to show you the inside of one of them. You know what, I have another one over here, it's for a 44, but just to give you the idea of what these cylinders look like, I hope you guys can hear me because I'm over here grabbing this other cylinder. And this is just a random cylinder that I grabbed. This isn't the cleanest nick tight nickel I've ever seen. But if you look at the plating and you look at the squish band, you see a massive difference. 
Although I do see, which is odd on these, I don't see this very often. I see junk up in this one too, which isn't as common on the Titan nickels. Anyhow, True Grit Scott, just trying to explain some of the things that I talk about. And a lot of new folks might not understand that it's sometimes more than just, oh, you have to tighten down, you know, all the bolts on a pre-built saw. No, there might be a little more to it. Anyhow, I've ran on this video way more than I wanted to. It was just a quick video as I'm working. True Grit Scott, Bulletproof Saws. Thanks for watching.